Okay, I'll just bring this in. Let's see. Welcome to another vlog. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Alicia and I'm a small business owner and illustrator. And I launched my coffee page yesterday, if you want to check it out. Because what we're gonna do in this video is gonna end up on my coffee page, by the way. Um, I, I thought it like, um, yeah, I need to explain a little bit why I started a coffee page. So my website ex uh, like the renewal thing expires in two weeks on february 15 like my online store um and i don't like my hostings provider anyway so i want to change it and so i'm not gonna renew the my my god my, i'm not gonna renew my website fee okay uh, because anyway I'm moving soon so like there's a couple things that I need to change because I'm changing con I'm moving countries so uh, yeah <laughs> I there's a lot of stuff I need to change in like uh, like my subscription and whatever taxes anyway um, so yeah I'm not gonna renew it I'm gonna close my online store from February 15th so if you want to look at Look it up and buy something. It's now or never. And um, that's why I started a coffee page. So from now on, I'm going to post my products on the coffee page. It's mostly going to be um, digital products for now. Like digital downloads, like uh, wallpapers or stuff you can print at home. Like what we're doing in this video. Um, and like calendar, like the calendar I gave it for free already. You can look up my other video if you want to download it. The Google Drive link is there, but I'm going to also add it to the coffee page for free download if I, if I can. <laughs> yeah. So everything is going to be at the same place. If you want to follow me on there, every time I'm going to put like some free digital download or something, or every time I do something you can download later that you can buy, it's going to be on my coffee page. And my name on coffee is Sour Plum Studio, so it's quite easy to find. I'm gonna put the link in my description down below. Uh, and yeah, eventually, uh, after I move to Canada, I'm gonna open an Etsy store also, because I don't wanna have to deal with all the EU like tax and stuff. So I'm gonna open an Etsy store for this, and I'm gonna also reopen my own personal like online store. Um, yeah, I just need to kind of... I'm still looking for which platform I'm going to use. Uh, but yeah, so my coffee page and then... Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do today actually is a Valentine's Day card. And it's going to be available on my coffee after. So you're going to... I'm still debating whether I do an envelope or what because... Maybe a squared envelope? We're going to do a heart-shaped card with... Um, based on the animation you're gonna see in this vlog. I started the animations again, guys. Finally. Um, but yeah, so it's Kuro giving the... It's the same as the... Calendar. It's Kuro giving a B mine heart. So the B mine is like... Yeah, it's like a heart inside a heart, basically. But yeah. We're gonna draw this um, and make, I'll make the file in Illustrator and then I'll test print it and see if it works fine. Once you print it, then you cut. Um, I was thinking if I do black and white version too because what if you don't have a color printer? But like, I don't know if it's cute. I don't feel like it's cute, but maybe I'll add, I'll add it. Like it's not that complicated for me to do both. So maybe I'll add both just in case, just in case. And I'll also make a cute envelope, I think. So when you, I think, 
yeah, when you buy the file, you're gonna get the card on one page and then the envelope. But I need to see because the envelope needs to be big. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it and then test everything. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I made like a small sketch of what I want to do. Like I said, I want to make the heart shape card. So this is going to be the illustration. It's the same as the animation, as I said, of YouTube. And then I think the card is going to be shaped like this. And then it should fold as a heart. And I'm thinking of a small square envelope. So yeah, we'll try that. Um, I already drew like the animation yesterday, so I have the sketch here. Like, technically, it's the final illustration, but I made it um, for YouTube, so the quality is a little bit different. So I think I'm gonna redraw it anyway for the card. Uh, but first, what I want to do is uh, do the template of the card in Illustrator and then I'm going to upload it to Procreate and then draw the illustration and then send it back to Illustrator to finish like everything. And then I'm going to do the envelope also and I need to test print. Yeah, I need to test print it before I do the illustration in case it's wrong. So... Uh, let's make the template of the card and the envelope in Illustrator and then print it and see if it works. Alright, so I created a file uh, that's like A4. Um, and then I'm going to quickly make a heart shape. So to make a, R, a heart in illustrator you do a long rectangle like this and then you click on it and you're gonna see the little dots for the like to curve the sides you click and then you fully curve it and then you're gonna press um co you're gonna copy it and then paste it at the same place so it's like on a Mac, it's Command and then F. And then you grab it and you rotate it 90 degrees. And then you select both. And then you go here to the Shape Builder. And you're just going to select three sides like this to make a heart. And if you press, what is it, Option? If you press Option and you click, it's going to delete. And then you can just turn it like this. Ta-da! <laughs> you now have a heart. Um, I'm gonna like. Oops. I'm gonna copy this another time. And. I think that's how it needs to be. If I wanted to fold, like how I want, I need to see like how big I can make. I should make the envelope to see like, a, um, and then let's see if it's gonna work. So, what kind of envelope should we make? I think this is too big because we need to make the flap at the top. I think I can't make it like triangles because it's gonna be have to be too small. So maybe I'll make two sides and another flap that folds over it. And then the top. But it's yeah, it's too big, even if I do that. Um let me see how big I can make the envelope and then we'll deal with the the heart. So, something like this, I guess. And then, I 
I don't want to make it round. I kind of thought, what if I make it scallop? But is it like a pain in the ass to cut? Mm, how do I make it? Oh, I think I know. Uh, what if I... Wait, I have to look at how to make scallop edges. <laughs> okay, I found out. Um, so, select... Uh, no, effect. What, what did I do before? <laughs> Distort and transform. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, what was it? Zigzag? Oh, yeah, okay. And then you do something like this, it said. That's my corner. Oops, I do. Let's draw with 50. And then it said to... Oh, wait, I need to... Uh, eject, expand. Okay. And then... I need to curve all of the... Oh! Interesting! What does it look like like this? Is it bad? I think I need to test print it. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Uh, and then I need to see this. Yeah, this is too big. It's gonna end up being quite small, I feel. Oops. Oh. This should fit. I guess. Okay, I'll test print this and then let's see. So here's the wait. This is too zooming. Okay, so here's the test. Like I printed this and this, and now I just cut it quickly with my scissor full of glue. Um, I should do it. Yeah, no with scissor, especially. I'm trying to clean my scissors because I don't know what I cut, but there's so much glue. Someone has a... I tried that with alcohol. It was not a success. Maybe soap and water. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell this to you. This is also my friend. I'm gonna go to the ground. So, just see how well. I'm gonna go to the ground. 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 Right, so this is like a basic option. This is not bad actually, but like the flap is a little a bit flat. I know this part is too long, definitely. But it kind of looks cute. And then what should we do? A heart like this, or. A circle. I mean, you can't tell me, but mm, I'm voting for this, the heart, I think. It's Valentine's Day, and it looks cute. Okay, so I love this. I love this scallop edges. This, should we test it like round? It's not bad like this either, though. Not bad. And then I'm gonna make a cute illustration here with space to write something, I think. It's better. And then a little illustration here and some little details, I think. And then nothing else. And then this here. Yeah. Perfect. And then you open it like this. It's kind of cute. And then it fits in here perfectly. Wow, amazing! Perfect. Okay, so now let's uh, let's send this file to Procreate so we can start drawing. Chaplin over there. So I colored it pink, the background, um, and then this is like the drawing that I put as a sketch in the back 
and so I'm just gonna add little doodles I guess I'll look at some inspiration maybe online I kind of have an idea of the kind of doodles I want to do but yeah I need to look at Pinterest a little bit I think I'm just gonna use three colors so the envelope is gonna be beige and the card pink and then there's gonna be red also but that's it I think look like this for now I'm gonna have to print it I'm not sure I like it I think there's it's like repeated twice kind of this motif and mm, <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not also maybe I should put some color in the cat this is Kuro so usually Kuro is black but if I make Kuro red now is it too much red and um, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. So, um, I finished the first, second, second prototype for the card, and I really like it. So I showed you when I was draw drawing. Oops. Yeah. I showed you when I was drawing the card, but I didn't show you the envelope. So. Here is the envelope to design. It's like this. It says, Will it be, oops, will it be my Valentine? And then in the back, it looks like this. And then I made like two, I made three at first design of kind of stickers that you can stick there to close it. So there's, but I, 
I changed it because I didn't like the color, it didn't go so well. So you have like this one that you could put there. I'm thinking if I should make it a little bit smaller. Uh, and then this one is the one that really goes like the best with it, I feel. Maybe I should just put this one. But yeah, I'm not sure yet. This one is really cute. But what if someone likes the pink one better? Or maybe I'll change the color of this one so that it's red and beige, like the background. But I think I do on one layer. <laughs> Beginners. Beginner. Uh, it's cute like this too. I don't know, let's see. Okay. And then the card is like this. And then the bag, like this. So if you open it, like this. But I think it doesn't go that well. Not that it doesn't go that well with this, but like the ratio of color is kind of wrong, I think. Like I want to, I think I'm going to change the outline, the red outline here for beige. And then I'm going to draw the cat red because the cat is supposed to be black anyway technically so it should be like a full color um yeah let's see i like the back though i think it's cute like really simple little hearts so i think that's what i'm gonna change but it's cute mm, almost done so let's finish this and make uh, another test print and this time I'm going to show you how I how to cut it and like stick everything together. So I finished draw like uh, doing the changes I wanted to do. So now it looks like this. I think it's much cuter than before. I don't know. Let's see when it's all cut. Um. Also, like I really like I finished the whole page with the instructions and everything. And then this is the the other page didn't change actually because I thought it was fine like this. So it looks like this. And then, I think like the cut lines are a little too pale on this one still. Let's see. If you cut with like alpha, like blades or exacto, I guess it's fine. But if you cut with scissor, it creates kind of a shadow. So maybe you can't see so well. I don't know. Let's see. So as I said, I recommend using like a little bit like this instead of scissors, but scissors are also gonna do the job just fine. It's just that it's harder to cut straight when you're using scissors. 
and then you just cut following the, the line you don't cut the dotted lines it's where you're gonna fold Okay, and then this is where it gets a little bit harder, I'm cutting the curved line. If you want to cut with the spoiled scissors and the rest with a little blade, it's fine too. But the trick is to not move your wrist when you cut like this. I say that, but... Next. So when it's ooh, when it's big pieces like this, um, I recommend cutting in small parts. Like read the instructions once, maybe and then cut it like this. Especially if you're using scissors, if you're using a blade, it doesn't matter much, but if you're using scissors, the paper is going to get in your way, so it's better to cut in tiny pieces like this. And then this one too, you just stick out. I'm going to have some tape on my hands. Take out the excess, like this. and it's going to be much easier to cut but yeah, like I said with a blade it doesn't matter as much as with scissors to do this So this is a bone folder, it's usually used when you're making like a book uh, book binding, but also like to fold paper. And then this one is to make like creases in the paper. I, I have no idea how it's called, actually. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna fold this, and it's a bit hard for this one.
You can use like anything to mark the paper if you want to do this too. Like what it does is just it's easier to fold afterwards because it tells the paper where you want it to fold basically and it helps not breaking your paper when you fold it. Cute. I'll just adjust like the back a little bit. And then this one. So I'm going to use double sided tape to glue the envelope and I'm going to use that also to seal it but I'm not going to seal it now but this then you just fold it like this and then now you have your envelope and I said I was just going to fix the back of this a little bit I think yeah, as long as the front looks nice, it's fine. So, ta-da! And then you can choose to put whatever when you want in the back, like this. So this is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you like uh, this little Valentine's Day card. It's gonna be available on my coffee page as a digital download. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, if you're, When you're printing it, if you wanna look again at this video, you can look but it's fairly easy and I left some little like instructions. Um, on the template I'm still thinking about if I add um, a black and white version like I mentioned before I don't know if it would be as cute I'm tempted to add one also it wouldn't be so long anyway for me to do it so I think I'm gonna add one <laughs> but it's gonna be the same thing uh, I'm gonna do the same uh, four little elements so yeah if you don't have a color printer so yeah that's it uh, if you want to get this valentine's day card you can head to my coffee the link is in the description below and have a nice week everyone bye